been a little while since we last did a home tour of any sort for you guys. Uh, we did one on Instagram stories maybe a year and a half or so ago. And um, if you missed it then or uh, you need a refresher or you just want to see what we've been working on, uh, here's a new home tour to go through the entire place. I'll try to be as brief and interesting as possible. I tend to be a little verbose from time to time. But you know, our, our house was built in around 1908. It was built as a hotel. Uh, there were four rooms upstairs, three rooms downstairs. It was a ferry boat stop up the water here on the way to Baltimore. So the ferry boat would stop here overnight, and uh, people would stay here, and they would just stay for a short period of time before heading on up the river. In the 1950s and 60s, it became kind of a, I call it a resort area. Um, people would stay and you know, swim out in the water and uh, stay here for short periods of time. It was a hotel all the way through the 70s or 80s until it was sold from the original family and now we're I think the fifth family to own it. This is our uh, front, I guess, garden area. We've got fire pit. We put Adirondack chairs out here, roast marshmallows. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the house was built oriented with the front of it actually as the back. So the front of the house, what's traditionally the front of the house, is taking advantage of the view out over the water, and uh, the back of the house actually faces towards the street. Uh, the side porch here is great for entertaining. We'll come back out here in just a minute. In here, this is the main entrance that everybody tends to come into the house. Uh, this is the office space that Wendy and I did a light renovation on along with her parents about uh, two years ago. We made the back staircase a lot nicer, uh, painted everything, put down new carpet, and this is actually the downstairs full bath. We also did a light renovation in here, did the vanity, uh, pulled up tile floor, exposed the original hard pine, uh, new toilet, that sort of thing. Hey, Boo -Boo. Um, since this was a hotel, we kind of made this office space. Let's call it a check-in area. We've got a guest book here and a little desk. And these built-ins were all here when we moved in. Wendy just accessorized them very nicely. All right, so from the office, walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is very much what it was when we moved here. Um, the biggest change is the fact that there's no cabinets there in the corner. We have a hole in the ceiling still from when we repair, replaced all the plumbing after the whole house freeze a couple years ago. Um, this dining room table is the one that my parents gave us that used to be in our dining room. Uh, we replaced it and it's just kind of here temporarily until we move it. And off of the kitchen is the dining room. The dining room is the project that we just finished. Just actually vlogged about it too. And it has a great view out over the water. Um, this dining room is exactly what we want the house to look like. I mean, uh, it's just our latest project that we completed here on the first floor. Uh, we're going to be hopefully doing the kitchen as one of our next projects um, a little bit later this year. But then coming back through the kitchen, also get to the living room. Living room is also, if you hear the clicking, that's Lulu following me from room. So the uh, living room we finished first. It was the first major room that we did in the house. We took out a partial wall that was coming out off of the shiplap over there. Um, it was strange and it cut up this great big space. Now it's this wonderful open area. We've got our couch. A great view out over the water. And all the way through to the front yard. I don't really love that door. It's just kind of your run-of-the-mill metal doors. I'd love to get something to replace it. Oh, there's bunnies running around in front of me. Who's noticing that? All right, so off of the living room here is the main hallway. Main hallway, this is our, our current ongoing project. Um, we've got some plaster repair left to do, some lighting work to do. We've already got the built-in over here, built with the fishing sign from, it's an antique Galway sign from Ireland, and that says fishing up above it. Um, and then the uh, air intake up there, we've got a great cast iron, great, 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 to cover it up. Um, it's been all restored, we've been painting it, but I 
cannot wait for this space to be complete. It's going to look awesome. It, I, I can't even tell you how great this is going to look with the staircase and newel posts and everything. All right, on up the stairs. We've got the guest bathroom at the top of the stairs. Um, this is almost exactly as it was when we moved in. The only difference is I replaced the leaking faucet with a new faucet that will eventually go on here. Uh, we're debating on what exactly we want to do with this space. I think we'll reconfigure it so that the toilet isn't the first thing you see when you walk upstairs. But for now, it does what it needs to do. All right, back down the hallway here. Get a great view out over the water. And this is the master bedroom. The master is a nice big space. Great views out the window. Um, we've got master bathroom. We're in the middle of cleaning too. So master bathroom off of this. Again, we're not 100% sure what the layout will be here. This closet will go away for sure. Um, it'll be cool when it's done. It's going to be a little while till it's done. That's for sure. All right, from master bedroom, let's go on upstairs into the attic. The attic is just a storage space right now. Uh, we've been, that's why our Christmas tree is here. Um, eventually, this will definitely be probably a sleeping area. We'll have two twin beds up here. It'll be a great area, people will love it. Um, As you can see, the view up here is pretty awesome. Same view, but over the front yard out that window. All right, head back downstairs. The front guest bedroom. This is the room that our guests tend to enjoy the most. A beautiful view out of the water. Got a queen size bed in here. And also evidence in this room, besides the super cool home goods, life preserver that Wendy found. Yes, it's a, it's a from Home Goods, even though it's from an authentic, um, I think, uh, multi-ship or something. But if you look up here at the door on the closet, you see a number. That number is number one, we've got a number two, a number five. It's just evidence that this was definitely a hotel at some point. I want to try and find matching numbers for the other doors so that we can put them on every single room. All right, this is the uh, second guest bedroom upstairs here. If you look, it's still got the original mantle, evidence that every room used to have a wood-burning stove. Um, there were two chimneys that have been removed. This is the last remaining original mantle. Off of this room, we've got a storage area. Who knows what this will eventually be? Maybe a lounge, media room, bedroom, not really sure. What I'd really like to do though is put a built-in on that side of the room and make this door a secret passage. Pull on a book to unlock and open it up. Right now it's a workshop area. Eventually I'd love to make this some sort of a speakeasy or something. Um, my dream is to put a pinball machine and a uh, arcade emulator like a 2000 games in one stand-up arcade game and maybe a small bar just hang out up here when it's dark out. Um, but like I said, this is all just kind of storage and workshop area. And this goes to the back staircase. All right, and then we can go back out on the porch. All right, like I said, this is the side porch. It's sometime in the 1950s. The only original part is the main porch that's on the water side. Um, this dining table seats good 10 and it's great for crab feasts. We tend to love picking crabs out here with friends. Um, this is our outdoor furniture that we just bought this year. It's very modular so we just kind of set it up however we want, um, put the cushions on it, lay on it, enjoy the breeze, enjoy the shade. And then over here from the front of the house, what is actually the back of the house, Great view over the water. Some people out there canoeing. Hope to replace this cement 
walkway it's kind of crumbling with brick maybe later this year and then once you get down here look back and there's the back of the house but as you can see it's more like the front of the house so that's it that's a home tour I hope you enjoyed um, hope you enjoyed seeing some of the progress that we've been making over the last little while too and I uh, can't wait to give you all our next update when maybe our kitchen renovation is underway or maybe the hallway is done downstairs crazy finishing more than one project a year how <laughs> unlike us all right thanks everybody for watching and um, let me know if you have any questions i'd love to answer anything all right we'll see you all later